So my name is Stefan Reiter. I am the head of Strategic Alliances, as Michael said, at One Vision. And I love to have today some sessions with you about the automation. And if I recap the, the introduction session this morning, I mean, this was a perfect, a perfect example. What is all about in uh, automation? Why do we need it? And so on. But let me still do some recap for all of you here on the line. And I hope the technology works now. Oh, marvelous. Octagu works. So why do we need to automate? I think that's the first thing we have to talk about because everybody's talking about automation, industry 4.0. But why really do we think about that? One of the thing is, if we look back a bit in time uh, in the traditional part of the printing industry, we see that in, in, in former times, we had longer print runs. Due to that, we had longer post press runs. And therefore, we had enough time for preparation and pre-press of our jobs. Today, as it's going more individual, more dynamic, uh, more sensitive in terms of time, and the, the print runs are getting smaller and smaller, there is no real time anymore for preparation and pre-press. And in addition to that, pre-press gets more and more complicated. So number one is, for that part, we need to have an automation in preparation of the print jobs because we're getting more and more jobs we have to prepare. Second thing is, and this is an interesting study uh, done by, I think it's a printing com by a printing company. I'm not quite sure, but this shows us uh, precisely that almost today, almost two thirds of all jobs that are sent by a customer are demanded within less than 24 hours. I mean, people are used to, you're going to wherever you are in the world, to a Tesco's or to a Aldi or a Lidl and asking for your uh, small printouts of your pictures or any kind of photo book. So why shouldn't request the same thing as a poster or a banner also to have it in less than 24 hours? So speed is an enormous factor why we need to automate. And last but not least, and uh, I'm very thankful for the discussion this morning about uh, B2B and B2C and online and web to a print. I think it's a marvelous possibility for all for us to grow our customer base because a lot of people get to know our services. The backside is also a lot of people know the prices of our services. And many times talking to customers, the first thing they told me is if they have online printing or web to print, hey, the first thing I do, Stefan, in the morning, I go to check the prices of my competition. So if they lower the prices by 20, 30 cents, I'm doing the same. So what does it mean? Basically, there is so much margin pressure that you can't afford any manual touch point anymore at a job that is submitted by online printing. If there's a manual touch point, you're losing money because the margin situation is so tight, you have to automate these jobs. So that's just as an entry point of why do we need to automate? And what do you, what do you want to talk about now when we talk about automation? We want to talk about an automated print production. And we will have a more precise look at the next picture exactly what kind of steps are involved in automated print production. But roughly said, as you can see here, one vision is something what we call a middleware. It sits between the job entry and the output of the jobs towards finishing or printing. So I promise to have a more precise look uh, later on, on that. So first of all, what kind of applications are we talking? Basically, no limitations. We are talking about uh, applications like wall covers, like signage, like uh, stickers. And we will have in the, in the sessions, we have technical workshops this afternoon and tomorrow. Uh, it's, uh, I think it's 4.30, uh, um, no, it's 3.30 British time and 4.30 Central European time. And we will talk today in a more hands-on session, in a technical workshop today about the application of posters, graphics and banners. And tomorrow we will talk about signage and stickers. So, but also if you talk about wall covers, if you talk of any kind of large format application, there is no limitation for this workflow. 
So I promised you a more precise picture into that. So what is one vision doing or where does one vision sit? So the first point, of course, anytime is how do I get my jobs into? So we talked about B2B, B2C, so it might be by web, but it could also be via our sales channel. So in the sales channel, it could be by email, uh, just by, by, by any file drop, by USB, by networking, by FTP sites or whatever. And from there on then, uh, we are going to get it into the company. So there is some kind of a uh, system where we basically have like an MIS or ERP system where we have inboarding the orders, the jobs. And from there on, we create some kind of a job ticket. And don't get me wrong now with the MIS or P system. I know many companies, their MIS system is Excel. And I know many companies, their job ticket is still a printed sheet of paper. We don't care about that. As long as we get consistent and structured data in any kind of a, of a language or in any kind of a way, this is for us a job ticket. And out of that, then one vision basically starts their job. So one vision has in, in general um, areas where we take the control. And area number one is the analysis. So what kind of job did we get there? What kind of file did we get there? What's in the file? So we are basically scanning for properties. We are scanning for all kinds of job and file properties. And based on that analysis, what we got, we are going to the point where we need to correct specific things. So what did we find in the analysis? Missing bleed, transparencies there, so what do we have to do? So after the analysis, we do the correction. And of course, after the correction, we need to do the proof. And the proof is, of course, that we can do visually show a lot of things, but we also can send a proof report to a customer. And there's one important thing for me in, the, in that thing. Many times I do an analysis and I get a report about the analysis. For me, I'm a pre-press guy. I'm not a highly experienced XML IT guru. I don't want to get these encrypted reports about uh, in that area, code, so-and-so, you have thin lines. I don't care. I want to see it visually and also our customers. I think we had in the introduction of the session, today, the, the level of professionalism in a lot of these account managers of agencies is not the highest one. And also at, at, at our clients, at the printer clients, it's not the highest one. So you have to make it very easy for them to understand if there is a problem, what is the problem? So a big part of our proofing concept is show visually with any PDF reader, you can see in, in, la in layers what is going to be right or what is going to be wrong. And that's a good proof for the customers. And then the last stage, of course, is and a very important one is the file setup stage. So until the proof point, we looked at the individual file and then we are going to the file setup. So where are you going to? Do you want to nest it? Do you want to gang it? Do a step and recruit? Do an imposing? Do you have a need for freeform nesting, for guillotine nesting? So where are you going to and what kind of production? And then we have a connection to what's the different devices. So this could be devices for printing, this could be devices for cutting, this could be devices for finishing. For some of them, we have direct connections, but we really don't care. If we have a direct connection and these devices are capable of feeding information back, perfect. Because this information then we can use and feed back to the ERP system. So then we have a really bi-directional connection which gives us the abilities, and we had a discussion also about that today, to show dashboards. When is my job ready? Where is my job exactly? Is it already at printing? Is it at cutting? Is it somewhere at finishing? So we want to really cover the full end-to-end -end solution of the whole production workflow. So that's the overview. Let's just have a little bit more precise in-look. Not too deep, because like I said, we have the technical workshops this afternoon and tomorrow afternoon. But if we talk about uh, automated print production, there are generally four areas you have to concentrate on. 
three of them are connected towards uh, the, the, the data stream and one is the production. So the data stream is, you have to have a look in automation about how does my data get into the company? How do my data get handled in the CRM, MIS, ERP system? So how do I combine jobs with order data, with the order data and the customer data? And then you're going into the workflow. So that means one vision, like I said before, is taking care of the middleware, of the workflow part. There we are doing all kinds of things like the pre-flight or analyzation, the normalization, the color management, the nesting or tiling. We are doing the cut lines or the cut files. We are doing the creation of other assets we need. We are doing the creation of the production files and we are handling the XML communication. And of course, this should be done uh, together with, or in relation to the MIS system. So it's, uh, we have all the kind of job information we got from the MIS systems. We have all the kinds of the file information and the instructions out of the file. And then based on these properties, job and uh, um, file properties, we are handling them the handover towards the different devices. So talking about that, if you talk about the workflow part, one vision basically consists of two major aspects. Aspect number one is the integration aspect. So how do we integrate into the data coming in and the data going out to the production? So that's number one. I said before, very easy job integration data coming in, structured and consistent data going out. We are driving a lot of devices directly and to all of the devices via hot folder management. And the core, the heart of one vision, sitting in the middle, and we will talk about more in the hands-on session, is consisting about a workflow management system and the part, what do we do with the file, individually with the file, analyzing, correcting, proofing. And then setting it up for production means, do we need, for example, for wide format, do we need tiling or do we need nesting? What kind of finish is involved? Is it just one finishing? Is it just one cutter? Do we have to diversify between different cutters? We heard about uh, in the morning session, the bottleneck is basically, or uh, the whole system, the speed of the whole system is based on, this, uh, on the weakest part. And in today's production, printing is very fast, but finishing, especially cutting, you can create a bottleneck so that's why people have a lot of cutters, have different cutters. One is doing kiss cut, one is doing through cut. We can support all of them at the time. And you can hear more about that in the tomorrow's breakout session in the afternoon. So this is about technology. Just give me some seconds. What is also different with one vision? So we have a very good technology, but one of the most important part for us is the whole customer journey. How do we take care about the customer? And this is, if you look at the background from one vision, we are now since about 30 years in the business of workflow automation. In some industry segments, we are by far the market leader. And one of the industry segments was the newspaper printing market. And we have to look at that, even it's not our biggest market segment today anymore, but newspaper has one basic thing, 11 p.m. on the plate. Not 10 past 11, not a half an hour past 11, 11. So One Vision takes in this full um, story a lot about the responsibility and, and that's why now this slide, the responsiveness towards customer and his needs. So when we talk about the customer journey, it basically starts understanding the customer. So we are doing audits, we are doing assessments with the customer. We want to understand his needs. Then based on that one, we are doing prototyping for him. And he has trials of his prototype. Does it really fit to his business? This was also raised uh, one point this morning. It doesn't fit to everybody's business. But if you don't test it, if you don't see if it's a prototype and the software trial does the work for you, you never will experience. And then of course, another part is installation and training. How is that done? How is the customer experience there? So 
installation and training is for us very important and then also the after sales or after installation so we have a very good well-known help desk from our vision giving up to 24 7 support from one vision people so not from just a help desk or helpline from anybody else or third party integrators it's one vision people giving you a 24 7 support maintenance help desk and of course we have these maintenance contracts that control it for you so just as a it's not a recap i would say but if you talk about the services we talked about the professional services that was in the part of the the assessment the consulting so we have round about three to four thousand customers and believe me we have round about three to four thousand different workflows so a very specific point of one vision is we have a modular system where we build the workflow towards the customer needs we have some market companions that ask you to have a workflow like they tell you we ask the customer how do you want to work so professional service for us is important and then of course how you can basically um, get access to the software so one vision you can have either a license uh, buy so you can have a direct license you can install virtually or locally or you can have software as a service in the cloud or you just can rent the software so also a lot of flexibility in the way how to achieve and get one vision solutions let me just summarize a bit so what is the beauty of one vision or where do we see one vision different from others number one is it's a one-stop shop so we don't care about technology, so printing technology, or printing methodology, or if you are screen printing, digital printing, and offset printing at the same time, it's a one-stop shop from end to end. We are very proud, and you will see that hopefully if you join us in our technical workshops, that it's a very modular system. You can easily upgrade and customize towards your needs. And the beauty for us, and hopefully also for you, is Everything you will see at One Vision in our technology is our own technology. We don't license any third party stuff or any third party software. So everything developed ourselves. And therefore, and this is a very important sentence uh, at, the, at the very bottom of the slide is, there is never a third party integrator involved. When you want to talk to One Vision, you talk directly to One Vision. You get help directly from one vision and you talk even to sometimes to the people that have developed some part of the software and of course last but not least our professional services where we are are with you the whole time from the customer journey from the beginning to the end so that's it for me i think i exactly stayed in the 20 minutes i thank you for the audience and for the time you gave to me and I want to again invite you at 3.30 uh, uh, British time or 4.30 European time to join one of our two workshops we have today and tomorrow.